welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick haul video, of course. What else can you expect from me other than hauls these days, right? I just can't help it, you guys. There's so many cool new products coming out. And of course, as a makeup lover, I just want to buy all of it. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up from ABH and Color Brain, just keep watching. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I usually upload every other day so you guys get a lot of content from me, so I hope you will consider subscribing. I could probably go every, every day, but I feel like that's a lot of pressure to put on myself. I do try to pre-film a little bit so that I can edit throughout the week. I do work full time as well in case you guys are curious, but thank you so much if you have already subscribed to my channel and you've been watching me for a while. I really appreciate it. YouTube is definitely one of my dreams and right now I can't do it full time because my channel is very small, but someday I would love to be able to do this full time because I love playing with makeup. So definitely consider subscribing to my channel, it'll really help me out. Without further blabbering, let's get into my little Okay, haul. so the first place I picked up stuff from was ABH. Now, I did talk about picking up the Subculture palette in a different video, but you know, this was a separate order. I really wanted to try their new matte lipsticks and they had a deal going on on National Lipstick Day where if you bought two lipsticks, you got one for free. So I thought that was a good way to try out some lipsticks and still get a decent deal because you paid for two and you got one extra, which never usually happens with new products. So I was really grateful for ABH for doing something like that. Usually it's like stuff you don't want that goes on sale, you know? So it was nice that they did something with their brand new products. So I did pick them up. This is what the bullet looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen them all over the internet. And then this is the box packaging. It's very beautiful. It's that soft touch packaging that NARS is famous for, but they did it with ABH. And yeah, it says matte liquid lipstick, 0.12 ounces. And then it just has their logo right here. Just beautiful. And then the color is on the back. So this first shade I'm holding is actually the one on my lips right now. It's called Rosewood. And it's a beautiful nudie red shade. I feel like I could wear this every day and not have it be overwhelming. It's super pretty. And yeah, this is what it looks like. So then the next shade I picked up is this one, and this is the shade Latte. It's a more dark brown nude, so I love wearing colors like this because they just work really well with my skin. I can't really wear pinky nudes. I feel like it doesn't look as flattering on me, but I'm so excited to wear this because it definitely has more of a hint of brown. Let me just swatch this for you. It is very creamy. It definitely does tug a little bit, but that's to be expected with a matte lipstick. I didn't have a problem putting Rosewood on. It is my first time wearing it, so I can't really give you a review on it. It does feel a little bit drying, but nothing where it's so uncomfortable you can't bear it. I remember when MAC first came out with their matte lipstick formula, or at least when I tried it, and it was so drying on your lips, it was painful to keep on. It just didn't wear beautifully, it got patchy, you could eat with it, it was just a hot mess. So they have since improved their, you know, lipstick quality, and I do think their mattes are very comfortable now, but when they first started off, they definitely weren't. So. I feel like compared to that, this formula is very comfortable, um, but I can't share my reviews yet with you guys because I ha I've had this on for maybe an hour. Now the last shade I got was the shade Spice, and as you can tell, of course it's another nude, but this is a little bit more of a pinky color. I would say this is more like a purpley. Um, I don't know. I'm so bad at describing these, but these are the three shades I got. Let me swatch Rosewood on my hand as well. So you guys can see swatches of all three on my hand um, instead of my lips. But yeah, I basically went with the nude colors. They have some really fun, crazy colors like turquoise and a black and things like that. But I just went with the safe bet. You know, I wanted to get stuff I would actually wear. And it sucked because I was having the hardest time finding swatches of the shade. So I literally had to wing it. And the only place I found some swatches, she was a lot lighter than me. So I was really bummed because 
I couldn't really find anyone that was my skin tone that had swatches of the whole collection. So I remember I went on a little rant saying, why is it so hard to find swatches for different varieties of skin tones? I think that's definitely something brands should work on. But those are my three lipsticks and I'm so, so happy with them. Let's move on to my next package. You guys, is there a better feeling in this world than coming home to packages? Like honestly, it literally makes me so happy when I know I have a package on the way. So this is from Colored Rain. They recently had a sale and of course I wanted to beef up my eyeshadow collection with them. And I've also been on a lipstick kick, which doesn't happen very often because I actually personally hate paying for lipsticks. I feel like they're so overpriced, especially like the high-end lipsticks are so, so expensive. I mean, you're looking at at least, you know, 20 bucks for a lipstick. So I did pick up some from Color Drain because I really do want to try their formula. I've heard really good things from a lot of different YouTubers and I know I love their eyeshadows. So I just placed a pretty sizable order through them. And so I just thought it'd be fun to show you guys what I got. I actually have a review of the brand on my channel. So I will link it up in the cards if you guys are interested in checking that out. I was talking about the Queen of Hearts palette and some of the singles I had already picked up from them. Okay, I got it open. I like to show you guys the packaging just so you have an idea. So this is the box and here is some foam that they put down. And then here are the lipsticks that I ordered. Oh, I actually ordered five, so there's five of them. And then this is a nice, you know, bubble wrapped package of the shadows. Okay, I hope you guys can appreciate all that bubble wrap that they had on this package regarding these eyeshadows. I am so pumped because I love Color Drain. It's definitely one of my favorite indie brands of the moment. And uh, let's get into talking about the liquid lipsticks. Now, I haven't tried these, but I've heard really, really good things. So I have the matte lip paint, and this is the shade Daddy's Girl. And these were all on sale for like $13, which I thought was a steal of a price. And I thought I'd pick them up. So the shade I bought because I kind of love those like fiery orange colors, and I don't really have anything like it so let me swatch it for you guys hopefully hopefully i will like this formula i've heard really good things it's a very hot orange color like a peach color so there is daddy's girl if you guys are interested next shade i picked up is called mars which is funny because i'm gonna go see bruno mars tomorrow so maybe i should wear that color <laughs> And here is what the color looks like. This just looked like a pretty nude shade, so shake it up a little bit. This wand looks like it's had a rough day. I don't know why it looks so wonky, but is this a different formula? Let me check. So this says matte lip. There, It's two different kinds of packaging, so I don't know why that is. So there is the shade. It's beautiful. It's like a chocolatey pink nude right there super pretty next i have a shade called latte you must not really have a lot of things to name lipsticks because one of these shades um i believe this shade is called latte by abh so this one looks almost exactly like the one i just swatched try not to judge me but it's hard when you're buying stuff online you know you try to wing it but doesn't always work out the way you planned. This shade is called Sorbet. And it's like a berry color. I'm not gonna lie, none of these colors look like what I thought they did on the website. Like they did look a little different than they're swatching on my hand or showing up in the packaging. So that's kind of odd personally to me because I'm looking at them like, can't believe I picked out these colors. And then this last one is Bachelorette. And this definitely look more of a rosy shade on their website. So that is really bizarre to me. So let me swatch. And this actually looks more like a brown shade. So there is the shade Bachelorette. So those are the five liquid matte lipsticks that I picked up from the brand Colored Rain. Let me know if you guys have any questions or anything like that. I definitely will review these for you. Like I said, I just am doing a haul, but here are the shades. Just wanna show you guys what I've picked up recently. 
and those were $13. Now let's look at the eyeshadows because let's be real, that's what everyone wants to talk about. So I picked up some crazy colors from them. A lot of them were super bright, like bold purples and greens and blues. And I was like, what the fuck was I thinking? I don't wear these colors. So then I decided to stock up on some of their neutral shades. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's a cute little sleeve and then the eyeshadows packaged individually here. So this first shade I'm going to swatch for you guys is called Native. And let me just give you guys a little close up of it. Here is what it looks like. I typically love colors like this in my crease. So I love the Color Brain Matte Formula and I decided to pick this up so I can use it on my eyeballs. Okay, so typically when I swipe I just go a few times. There is a finger swatch and I usually just do one swipe. So I'm just gonna rub my finger back and forth. But there is the first shade and that's Native. Next shade I have is Shortcake. This is like a glittery orangey copper shade, kind of peachy. Actually, I wouldn't say copper, I should have said peach. And this is so soft. I don't think I have anything like this in my current collection. Wow, it's like a really vibrant, stunning peach color. Next I have a shade called Chocolate, which is a dark brown shade. I feel like the eyeshadows definitely look more true to color. The lipsticks, I don't feel like they look true to color, but they are drying, so yeah, interesting. That first shade is definitely very patchy. I wonder if it's going to be more pigmented and not as patchy on the lips. So that's the shade Chocolate. That was just one swipe. Next shade is another map. This is called Moments. And this is another, it looks like a brown red almost. Very slight though. So there it is. I definitely went in the opposite direction this time. I went from all these crazy colors to a bunch of neutral shades. So there it is. Next shade is called Happy Days. This one looks a lot like that other shade as well. But this one is actually a dual chrome, so it's like a peach shift with a pink. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. My arm swatch, but it's pretty cool. I'm not really like a huge dual chrome person. Oh, actually, you can see it on my finger. I don't know if it's this one that I use to swatch, but I'm not really huge on dual chromes. It's not something I like seek out, but if I find one, I'm like, cool, whatever. You know, it doesn't really show up on your lid. This is a really bright yellow gold. This is the shade Superstar. Nice foiled craziness, intense, very buttery. Oh, yes. Mama, give it to me. Oh, girl. That was one swipe and I didn't even have to try it. I could probably go again. Boom, boom, boom. That's some colored rain realness for you guys. This is the shade Gingerbread. I feel like I already bought Gingerbread. I don't know. This is one neutral palette, guys. Here is Gingerbread. It's another shade of brown. Shocking stuff, really. Bet you guys never saw that coming. This one is definitely lighter, so it might be hard to see on my skin tone, but it is right there if you guys can see it. Okay, next shade is called Flashy, and this flashy shade is another gold. This is stunning. It looks like it's a dual chrome with like a shift of orange, possibly. Actually, it like shifts yellow, the like green yellow. So I think I just swatched that right on top of Gingerbread. I'm such a moron. I just totally lost track of what I was doing. So there it is, not swatched on top of gingerbread. It's a beautiful, typical golden champagne shade, I would say. And then the last color I have to swatch is pumpkin pie. And this looked a lot brighter on the website. I did kind of realize that they're not as bright as they look on the website. Like if you go look up this color online, it's like this crazy bright orange, but Let's see how it swatches. Wow. Shade is stunning. It has like a little golden shift to it. Definitely didn't seem as smooth as the other shimmer shades when I put my finger in the pan, but still 
So these are all like the neutral colored rain eyeshadows that I picked up. So I think I'm done um, with colored rain eyeshadows for the moment. I have a definite sizable collection and I don't think I need anything else from them at this point unless they do some new crazy colors. But if you guys wanted to take a, another look, here are all the eyeshadows I just swatched for you guys. Okay guys, that is it for my little haul video. I just wanted to show you some lipsticks, some eyeshadows I picked up recently. If I don't show you, I'm going to completely forget about them. So I like to do these smaller little haul videos and they're a little easier to watch so they're not like 8 hours of me unboxing shit because I do buy a lot of makeup. But give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!